Um, and then I came. So then uh, I, I crashed at a, at a friend's house in uh, in the city. Got up in the morning feeling awful. Nice, and just good proper, good proper old man hangover. Where you feeling like your calves? And you're like, oh, what do my legs hurt? It's not like I was running or anything last night. Or were you? It's just all of these. Chem- no, because I can. I can actually. I can plot the evening. So. So no no danger of that, but uh, I get a, a, a text from my friend saying, hey, we're going to go to the world's greatest omelet place. I mm-hmm. said, I would love to go to the world's greatest omelet place with, place with you, but uh, I'm too hang- hungover. This is my friend who is a uh, paramedic. Oh, right. And so I said, do you think they would let you run an IV on me at the Omelet Express? And uh, he said, no, but I've got the stuff here, so if you want to come to my house... Uh, we can do that here. I'm like, that sounds great. I, I will be there directly. Work. I thought that doesn't work the day. I thought I had to do it the night before. What, the IV? Yeah, the flush. No, no that works. The yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's not a flush. It's, it's just... it's Oh, just saturating. It's just getting all right. the fluids back into mm-hmm. you because the, the worst part about being hungover is the dehydration. Right. So this just rehydrates you. It's a you. saline bag or something, right? Well, this, this yeah. he actually had he had a saline bag that had like potassium and yeah. like... Uh, electrolytes. Electrolytes, yeah. A bunch of like... It was, it was actually way better than just pure saline. Uh, although it turns out I would be just a, pouring Picari sweat into bags, <laughs> and it turns out I would be a terrible junkie because my friend could not find my veins on either of my arms, which is why I now have oh, sweet, oh, sweet junkie oh, arms yikes. going on here. Yikes. Which that's, oh, that's this, this is a clear oh. sign that you, <laughs> something went wrong. Something is up in your life something that you got to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> spending too much time hey, in the gas the, station bathrooms. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. So, so, so I was brutally rebuffed for trying to do an end around on my angle. Did you never get it in? No, he he ran out of needles. He tried to do one arm and couldn't find oh, it, man. and then tried to do the other and couldn't find it and didn't have any more needles. Was he at home? Yeah. Did he have like the orange wastebasket or something for the needles? I mean, he has the little like it's it's the little tube thing that that's the medical waste seal. Okay. Yeah. So that's just throwing needles. No, <laughs> although by the time we were done, there's like his bathroom's covered in blood. And there's just medical waste everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. And we were Damn. just laughing at like this is such a bad oh. nasty. Just somebody scene walks in, here. And just huh? <gasps> everything about yeah, everything about this just looks like the wrong thing. And then uh, he, he bought me breakfast to make up for it. So. So you did wind up going to the omelet place? Oh hell yeah! And how was it? <sighs> It's so good. Great. God damn it. Worth love the that. blood. Love that omelet place. Don Taylor there. Don Taylor was was repping large. Is he ever not there? And so so I had been talking to someone about Thai horse fighting and how Don Taylor had introduced me to the concept of Thai horse fighting mm-hmm. um, by showing me a picture of himself in a, a Thai magazine or a, a Thai newspaper. He's like, I was over there on business. Here, look at me in this magazine, right. in this newspaper. Business. And then also above, no, it's like it's him and like two other people standing right. there. It's, it's clearly some sort of... Proper There's blood everywhere and all these dirty needles. But he's like, and he's like, yeah, check this out. Here's an article above it about Thai horse fighting. It's pictured these two horses fucking going at it. So I go to the place and I, I was telling the story. This was years ago that I saw this this stuff. And I was so blown away. I went I went to the restaurant, and went in, into the uh, the men's room, and he had all of that shit framed on the wall in there. So I was totally able to like confirm. Yes, this is where Thai horse fighting. My exposure to Thai horse fighting started right here. Thank you, Don Taylor. You're welcome. The guy's a baller. Still just walking around his restaurant. How the keeping the law quality of the waitresses still high, still exactly what you want. Great. Right. He is he is he has not changed anything about the way he does. That's right. Oh, his stable Omelet Express in uh, Railroad Square, Santa Rosa. I cannot recommend it enough. Get the number one. It's, it's really number awesome. one. And then I wheeled uh, from there over to my dad's house and uh, checked out a bunch of baby raccoons. Oh. Uh, my my stepmom is uh, working for a wildlife rescue place, and so they have like four, like I think nine week old baby raccoons. If you want some adult raccoons? Just I got a storm drain in front of my house with like at least forty in there. <laughs> I want yeah. babies. There's probably some ba- <laughs> babies in there. Probably, uh, but these are orphaned, so they have to be like hand fed. Are they ships. gonna be released back into like, the you're wild? You're just gonna go yeah. dump them in my storm drain, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking asshole. Yep, that's the plan. <laughs> <clears throat> no, they'll they'll be at their house for uh, maybe a, a few more weeks, and then they will go back to the uh, the wildlife rescue where they will be be allowed to wild up more. Basically, it's okay. like they're trying to limit human interaction. Even at even at my dad's, they're trying to limit human interaction there, and then they'll train them how to tip over a trash can. They'll do that even further. Noise. And then I guess they have like there there are these huge uh, tracts of property both in like Sonoma and like Mendocino County where. People who own these pieces of property say, yes, you can go and release animals onto my property. So that's where they will go hmm. eventually. 
That's, but that's just baby raccoons. Are they nursing rats back <laughs> while they're at it, too? Just like how many different suburban annoyances can they possibly But they're not in the suburbs. Back to, not yet. They'll find their way there. To get that bus ticket. Well, then that's why you got to fight them. Yeah, if you want to be if you want to be in the suburbs, guess what? You got to fight raccoons. That's why you buy the the mole bombs and just start throwing them in your storm drain. Those, rac- those big raccoons are gnarly. They are, yeah. They do not fuck around. Like one standing on top of the other one, <laughs> <laughs> wearing a trench coat. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get into an R-rated movie. Yeah, <laughs> Come, coming up my door saying, like, "Hey, you want to donate? I got to buy some Girl Scout cookies." I'm you are not Girl Scouts. You're not. You are two raccoons. Give me the money. <laughs> Wearing a harpo. Jesus, he's figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so all that stuff happened on on Saturday, and it was. Uh